Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to enable, configure and use the point in time restore feature on Windows 11. So Microsoft has introduced the evolution to system restore, which is known as the point in time restore feature. And this one creates and stores restore points containing everything on your computer, including installation files, apps, settings and your files. And if something happens to the computer, such as an error or another problem with a buggy update, broken driver or a misconfiguration or something else, you can roll back your computer to an early point in time where everything was working correctly. As you can see, this is basically the same as System Restore, but this feature has been upgraded to appear in the settings sub and the workflow works a little bit different. Now, it is important to know that since this feature creates a complete restore point containing everything on your computer, it can also affect some of your files. So if you need to restore your computer to an early point in time, any files or changes made after that restore point will be deleted from your computer. So if you plan to use this feature, it is best to have also a file backup just in case you need to restore additional files. Now, the feature should come enabled by default on Windows 11 Home and Pro as long as they're not managed by a network administrator, but you can always check or enable the feature by going to the settings app. And to do that, just open the start menu and look for settings. Then let's go to system. Then we need to go to recovery. And in here, you're going to see a new point in time restore entry. Now, and from this page, you can enable and disable the feature. And once enabled, you can configure some aspect of the point in time restore. One of them is how often the feature will create restore points. By default, it's set to 24 hours, but if you're working with more sensitive information, you can tell the operating system to create restore points every four hours. Now, you can also control the retention for those restore points and default 72 hours, but you can change it to keep those restore points for less time. Now, at the bottom, you can also control the disk usage and by default it's going to use two percent of the total capacity and one thing that is worth to point out is that this feature also comes enabled by default on devices that have at least 200 gigabytes of storage of course at any time you can use this slider to set how much space you want to reserve for restore points usually you just want to keep it to the default settings now once you enable the feature, you can just continue using your computer normally. And then the system in the background is going to use the volume shadow copy service to create snapshots of the device to the frequency setting that you specify. Now, if something happens to the computer and you need to restore it to an early point in time, you have two different ways to access the recovery feature. If you still have access to the desktop, you can use the settings app. However, if you can't boot into the operating system, you will have to access the Windows recovery environment with a different method. You can check the video description that I have a link to another tutorial that includes other ways that you can use to access the Windows recovery environment. For this video, I'm just going to assume that you're still able to access the desktop. So we're going to be using the settings app. But before we do that, here's a tip. If you have access to the desktop, it is best to disable device encryption or BitLocker before proceeding because during the recovery process, you will be prompted to enter the recovery key. So to avoid that extra step, just go to the settings app, then go to privacy and security, then go to device encryption and make sure to turn off this toggle switch right here. Once you do that, you can proceed by accessing the Windows Recovery environment to use the point in time restore feature. And to do that, just open the start menu and let's go to settings. From here, we're going to go to system, recovery, and then we're going to click the restart now button for advanced startup. Now, when you get to this page, this is the Windows Recovery environment. And from here, we just need to go to troubleshoot. On this page, we're just going to click on point in time restore. And from here, you need to select the restore point that you want to use to restore your computer. Remember that this will affect everything on your computer. So make sure to choose the correct restore point. So I'm just going to choose the latest one when you apply this particular restore point. And in here, you get some warnings of what's going to happen when you apply the restore point. So you can see right here that all the changes made on the device after the restore point will be lost. This includes data, documents, downloads, install apps, configurations, system settings, and other changes. Also, passwords, secrets, certificates, and keys that are stored on cloud services like OneDrive won't be lost. That is, of course, if they were synced to the cloud before applying the restore point. Once you understand what's going to happen, just click the continue button. Now you get another warning here, and then we just need to click the restore button. 
Now, how long is going to take restore point to finish? Well, that will depend on your computer, but Microsoft has designed this particular feature to be quick, so it shouldn't take too long. And that's it. Once the restore point completes, the computer will reboot and Windows 11 should start normally. And that's it. That is how you use the point in time restore recovery feature on Windows 11. Let me know what you think about this upgrade to system restore and also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.